So first of all, we're going to go in with our onion and our garlic. Pop that in there. You want it on a medium heat. So I'm going to give that a quick stir. Just sort of coat that in the butter. Right. And then on that medium heat, we're going to give that about. Okay, so that's started to sweat down now. So by sweating, we mean without colour. And when you have a lid on it, it helps as well. So next, we are gonna go straight in with our mushrooms. You make soups out of anything. Now the mushrooms will cook down, so don't worry if the pan gets a bit full. Okay. So in they go there. Put the lid back on, get the steam going. And then another five minutes like that. Okay. So that's started to cook down. So you can see the amount of water coming out of that. Alright. So once you've given that a stir, then we're going to give that another five minutes. And that will all reduce all those flavours. What you want to get ready after that is two stock cubes and some hot water. Okay, stock cubes, you can use whatever you want. Probably best not to use beef, but chicken or vegetable, whatever you feel like. Okay, so we're nearly there. So we've still got some of the juices in there. And all we're going to do now is add a couple of stock cubes. Now I'm adding chicken because I'm not a vegetarian and I like the chickeny flavour. You could add vegetables. You could just add water if you want. Okay, so that goes in there. And notice we're not actually putting any flour in this one. Um, if you wanted to thicken it, we can thicken it at the end with some corn flour or you could put a potato in here. And then all I'm going to do is just cover that with water. I'm going to bring that to the boil and then I'm going to boil that for about 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, here we are. See you in 25 minutes. So now it's all boiled down, everything's cooked, and we're going to turn that off for a couple of minutes. Puree that. Okay, so once it's cool, pop your stick blender in there. You can leave it like this if you'd rather eat it like this, it's not probably. I'm gonna add a little bit more water to that. Just to make it more soup-like, rather than too thick. And we're going to take our, our pureed garlic paste. Okay, sometimes it comes in cloves. I'm going to add a good teaspoon of that, okay? So just stir that in. Okay, then add your seasoning, okay? as little or as much as you want. Always better to put a little bit in first, then taste it. Okay, and also a little tip, soups are always better the day after. So they'll develop their flavour or just leave it on the back of the stove. Especially if it's vegetable, you won't have to worry too much about things going off. Obviously if it's a huge hot day outside, we're still in winter. So take that, one dip, don't double dip, give it a quick taste. Oh, that's lovely. I'm going to add a little bit more of that garlic pasty. So that's two to our 500 grams. So two teaspoons. And there you go. So there are your lunches for the day, for the week, sorry, or a lunch for four, really. Put that with some. 
with some bread, etc. Okay, there you are. Mushroom and black garlic soup. <laughs>